Ever thought about crafting your own thematic aquarium? An underwater world that tells a story, perhaps even yours? Picture it, an aquatic landscape that breathes life into your favorite book, movie, or even a cherished childhood memory. This is the beauty of a thematic aquarium. It's not just about housing fish, it's about creating an immersive environment that reflects your personality and sparks your creativity. The possibilities are as vast as the ocean itself. Stay tuned as we dive into the captivating process of creating your very own thematic aquarium. First, let's unravel the mystery of what a thematic aquarium really is. Imagine your aquarium as a blank canvas ready to be painted with the hues of your imagination. A thematic aquarium is precisely that. It's an underwater world, a pet paradise reflecting the unique themes that inspire you. Instead of the regular aquarium setups, a thematic aquarium incorporates elements from various avenues. These can be inspired by the beauty of nature, the magic of films, or even your personal interests, creating an environment that is as unique as you are. Picture a miniature Hogwarts castle for your fish to swim around, or a lush Amazonian rainforest underwater. The possibilities are endless. The joy of a thematic aquarium is in the details, the story it tells, and the personal touch it adds to your space. Now that we understand the concept, it's time to get our hands wet, metaphorically speaking, of course. The first step in creating a thematic aquarium is choosing your theme. It's the cornerstone of your underwater world, the backdrop to your aquatic symphony. But where do you start? Well, the possibilities are as vast as the ocean itself. You could take inspiration from the natural world, crafting a theme based on a specific ecosystem. Maybe you fancy the vibrant colors and bustling life of a coral reef, or perhaps the serene tranquility of a mountain stream. You might even prefer the mysterious depths of the ocean floor. The choice is yours. Or, if you're a film enthusiast, why not bring your favorite scenes to life under the water? Imagine a miniature Hogwarts castle nestled amongst aquatic plants or the sunken Titanic acting as a playground for your fish. You could even recreate the eerie atmosphere of the alien movies or the colorful world of Finding Nemo. The silver screen is a treasure trove of inspiration. Of course, your chosen theme will also depend on the type of fish you plan to keep. Some fish, like cichlids, thrive in rocky landscapes, while others, like tetras, prefer a densely planted environment. Researching your fish's natural habitat can provide invaluable insight into the type of theme that would suit them best. And let's not forget about personal interests. Maybe you're a history buff and want to recreate an ancient underwater city. Or perhaps you're a sci-fi fan and envision a futuristic space station. This is your chance to let your imagination run wild, but remember, while aesthetics are important, your fish's well-being should always be the priority. Make sure your chosen theme is not only visually appealing, but also safe and suitable for your aquatic pets. Once you've chosen your theme, the real fun begins planning your design. But we'll dive into that in the next segment. For now, let your mind wander through the depths of your creativity. Let it be your compass as you embark on this exciting journey to create your very own thematic aquarium. With your theme in mind, it's time to start planning your design. The first step is to sketch out your design. This is where creativity meets practicality. You might be envisioning a magical undersea world inspired by Finding Nemo, or a tranquil landscape reminiscent of the Amazon rainforest. Regardless, it's crucial to consider the size of your aquarium and the species of fish you'll be housing. Remember, your design should not only be visually appealing, but also suitable for the fish. For instance, if you're planning to house better fish, known for their vibrant colors and long flowing fins, you need to consider their their preference for still water and plenty of hiding spots. A Pirates of the Caribbean theme with sunken treasures and ghostly shipwrecks would be a perfect fit. Next, think about the decorations you want to include. This is where your theme really starts to take shape. Decorations can be anything from natural elements like rocks and driftwood to replicas of movie props. However, always ensure they are safe for your fish, non-toxic and without sharp edges that could harm them. Then. Consider the types of plants that will complement your theme. If you're going for a Lord of the Rings theme, for example, you might opt for lush, leafy plants to create an elven forest feel. On the other hand, a Star Wars theme might call for more alien-looking plants. Just remember, your choice of plants should also meet the needs of your fish. Lastly, choose a substrate that fits within your theme. This could be anything from white sand for a Caribbean beach theme to pebbles for a mountain stream theme. The substrate should not only enhance the visual appeal of your aquarium, but also provide a comfortable environment for your fish. 
Planning your design is a process of taking your theme and molding it around the needs and preferences of your fish. It's a balancing act between creating a stunning visual display and ensuring a healthy, happy habitat for your aquatic friends. Now comes the exciting part, bringing your design to life. With a plan in place, you're ready to set up your thematic aquarium. The first step to setting up your aquarium is to place the substrate. The substrate is the base layer of your aquarium and it can be sand, gravel or even marbles. This layer is crucial for the growth of plants and the well-being of your fish, so choose wisely. Next, it's time to arrange the decorations and plants. These are the items that will bring your theme to life. Whether you're recreating a scene from a beloved film or a serene forest, the decorations and plants you choose will set the stage. Remember, your aquarium is a living art piece. So, take your time to arrange everything just the way you want it. Now that your stage is set, it's time to add water, but not just any water. You need to treat it first to ensure it's safe for your fish. You can use a water conditioner to remove any harmful chemicals. Once the water is treated, slowly add it to the aquarium, being careful not to disturb your carefully arranged decorations and plants. The final step in setting up your thematic aquarium is introducing your fish. It's important to introduce your fish to their new home gradually. Start by floating the bag your fish came in on the surface of the water in your aquarium. This will allow the fish to get used down to the temperature. After about 15 minutes, you can release your fish into their new home. But remember, setting up your aquarium is just the beginning. You'll need to monitor your fish closely for the first few days to ensure they're adjusting well. You'll also need to maintain the water quality, feed your fish properly, and keep an eye out for any signs of illness. Congratulations, you've set up your thematic aquarium, but our journey doesn't end here. The next step is to learn how to maintain your creation, ensuring that it remains a healthy and vibrant home for your aquatic pets. But that's a topic for another time. For now, sit back and enjoy the view. You've earned it. Creating your thematic aquarium is just the beginning. Maintaining it is equally important. Think of your thematic aquarium as a small, self-contained ecosystem. It's a living, breathing entity that requires regular attention and care. Just like any pet or garden, it's not a set-and-forget venture, but rather an ongoing commitment. First and foremost, feeding your fish is a daily task. The type of food and the quantity will depend on the species of fish you have chosen. Research is key here, as overfeeding can lead to water pollution and underfeeding can lead to malnourished fish. Remember, a hungry fish is a healthy fish. Cleaning the tank is another vital task. While many modern aquariums come with built-in filtration systems, these can't do all the work on their own. Regularly siphoning off any visible debris and doing a water change of about 25% every two weeks will help to maintain a healthy environment for your aquatic friends. Monitoring water parameters is also crucial. Regular testing of the water's pH levels, ammonia, nitrate and nitrite levels will ensure your fish are living in optimal conditions. If any of these parameters are off, it could be a sign of an underlying issue that needs addressing. Speaking of issues, it's important to be vigilant for any signs of disease or distress in your fish. Unusual behavior, loss of appetite or visible signs of illness are all red flags that something is not right. If you spot any of these signs, it's essential to identify and resolve the issue quickly to prevent it from spreading to other fish. And lastly, remember to regularly check and maintain your thematic elements. These are the heart and soul of your aquarium, the unique touches that set it apart. Whether it's a sunken pirate ship or a miniature Hogwarts castle, these elements need to be kept clean and intact to maintain the overall aesthetic of your aquarium. With care and attention, your thematic aquarium will be a thriving, ever-evolving testament to your creativity. We've journeyed from concept to creation, and hopefully you're now ready to embark on your own thematic aquarium adventure. We've explored choosing a unique theme, meticulously planning the design, and the exciting process of setting up your aquarium. We also touched on how to maintain your aquatic masterpiece. It's been quite the voyage, but remember, the only limit to your thematic aquarium is your imagination. So go forth, let your creativity flow like a river and create your underwater wonder. Happy aquascaping!